Hello, I want to show you another nice effect with Ulonit. As you can see, the dragon is flying to the castle and some rocks are thrown to him. So the dragon is able to escape the first rock. Okay. He also managed to uh, skip the second one. But the third one here hits the head of the dragon and pass through it. So what we are going to do is shattering this rock in dynamics using pull down it plugin. For this, let's start by switching to perspective view to can handle the viewport freely. Okay. And let's place the rock in the first frame when colliding with the with the dragon. So now let uh, open shader window. Let's go to shader the rock. Set Moonshard about 150 and click on preview. Now you can see a cloud of point. With this locator, you can handle it to place the cloud in different areas. And we are going to place it near the head of the dragon to create more fragments in this area. So let's place the fragment uh, in this corner and let's check it in another point of view just in case, okay, the points are uh, correct. So now let's click on the button. The model has been shattered creating smaller fragments near the head of the down and we are going now to create a fracture body for this uh, fragment for this open PDI basic fractures click on create fracture body this is our selection of fragments and now just click on OK the model turn orange that means the fracture body has been created and now we have also to include the dragon in dynamics. Uh, for this, uh, select the model and open PDI uh, rigid bodies and set a dynamic type to kinematic because the model is animated. But uh, uh, the dragon, the, the skin of the dragon is deforming when. Uh, colliding with the stone so we have to set it as mesh animated to take in account the deformation of the mesh when colliding so now we have our model in dynamics and we are going to simulate the scene with pull on it so open PDI basic simulating options and click on simulate button now let's see what happens. Now the uh, rock is breaking when colliding with the head of the dragon. Let's compute a few more fragments and check in the result. Okay. So let uh, stop this and check the the result the stone is breaking but I think we can do better by tweaking some factor parameters so open again basic factors window select our rock and switch on stressor view ah, I have to uh, better to display uh, flat colors to see clearly the uh, stresses view okay now these uh, white areas are the Weaker areas of the model uh, easier to break. So with 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 the right parameter, we can change the uh, white areas. Let reduce it, it to zero to make the weaker areas uh, near the head of the dragon, and also reduce hardness to make the uh, rock uh, easier to break when colliding. 
Also, we can see here a static is checked for the rock, but in activation we have a first hit. Uh, in this case, I have to check breaks upon impact because the the stone is animated, and in this way, breaks upon impact, the fragments are going to to keep the momentum of the of the rock when colliding with the dragon. So I check breaks upon impact because the rock is animated, and let's. Uh, display again uh, materials let's compute dynamics with these changes again the rock is breaking when colliding with the with the head of the dragon but, <coughs> but I expect now better results than before Okay, I think now it's going to be more uh, appe appealing destruction. Okay, let's compute a few more frames before checking the result. But I can see the fragments are flying away uh, pretty good, and the down is passing through them just in case let's uh, stop the simulation and check the result for computing more frames you can continue later with Kulanit you can stop and simulate at any moment so let's stop this switch to our camera and check the destruction ok the rock is a uh, breaking in the small fragments and the dragon passing through it so I like it and I go, I'm going to continue uh, computing more frames for my uh, final simulation ok, I start in the last frame I computed before very nice feature of Uldonit Actually, I should compute until the last frame of the of the scene. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to stop the simulation when the dragon uh, reach uh, get closer to the to the tower. Okay, because I think it's enough for for the tutorial. So let <coughs> uh, stop the simulation and check the destruction with the rock. Okay, I think it's uh, pretty good. Fragments uh, exploding and uh, flying away. So I like it. Now I'm going to. Uh, uh, clean the, the scene, uh, clean all PDI dynamics, going to manage PDI wall and click on delete all PDI bodies. In this way, I left only uh, keys on the scene and uh, free memory. Okay, so I now I can go back and forth and the, simul the dynamics is. Uh, it's nice, but you can see the fragments are uh, polygonal flat faces. With pulled on it, we can do better by adding jagginess to the fragments, improve uh, their uh, their look. So, open PDI jagginess uh, window, select any of the fragments, and click on Add jagginess. Now, pulled on it. Uh, goes back to the first simulation frame so now when playing the uh, simulation actually it is animation at this moment you can see the fragments are much more realistic uh, rough faces, twisted edge let's isolate this one to see the effect of jagginess uh, clearly so this is our fragment with jagginess applied 
okay more uh, mm, flat faces are gone uh, you have more detail and you can even uh, modify the the strength of the jagginess to make it uh, bigger or smaller okay I think about one unit is enough for our fragment it's a very nice feature of Poldonic jagginess so let's go back to uh, our camera and play the final result okay so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for watching bye